I'm now on the Buckler register stand with Joe George. Good afternoon, Joe, and welcome to the Classic Restoration Show 2019. Thank you. So, can you tell me a little bit about this unique uh, Buckler car, please? Yeah, it's a Buckler DD2 uh, with a Mistral body, uh, which is fiberglass body. Um, the car was, or the space frame for the car was built in '56. Body um, is a design from about '57. Uh, the car was built at Bucklers of Reading um, as a, in their uh, Cavisham Road works by a friend of the family who was given some space at the back of the works to assemble it. Um, first registered in 1959, um, he then had it for uh, about 18 months on the road and then sold it to get married. It was then owned by uh, a racing driver who raced it at Silverstone in 61, a um, guy called Mike, um, Fielden, who was tragically killed shortly afterwards um, while sitting in a Lotus at the pits at Silverstone and somebody came off the track and hit him, which was very sad. We don't know what happened to it after that. It was sold by the estate and it disappeared. And in 1983, it turned up in a garden in Redhill when a landscape gardener was told by the new owner of the house to um, clear the garden of all the rubbish and when he cleared a grackberry bush he found the car underneath it. So uh, he then gave it to his nephew for a pound. His nephew was 14 at the time and he thought that he'd take it to bits and rebuild it and he very quickly discovered it was far too sophisticated for, uh, for him to deal with and the Buckler Register got to hear about it two Buckler Register owners um, clubbed together and bought it so it didn't go scrap and they had the space frame um, completely refurbished and then put it on the market as a restoration project and who should come along and buy it but the son of the original builder who then rebuilt it with his dad and he got to the stage of a rolling chassis um, but things sort of petered out at that point and his father died and he kept it on for a long time and in 2012 he decided that perhaps it would, he would sell it and uh, I heard about it and uh, snapped it up very quickly. At the time that I bought it the um, bodywork was partially installed on it but he'd started, he told me himself he didn't really understand how to put a five wheel last body on a car, he'd started with the back and the front so he'd got the bonnet on and he got the back of the car on and he couldn't get the bindle bits to fit. So we had to start again and take the whole lot off, fit all the middle of it and then fit the back and the front to get it to go together. So I had the body done by a fiberglass guy uh, who assembled the back and the front and then I did the finishing off bits to get it back on the road and we got it on the road in 2016. And I've been messing about with it and seething troubles and since, since then. Because it stood so long um, all the rubbers and everything had gone on it, so quite a lot of small bits needed replacing before it ran properly. But it's just beginning to run properly now. So what type engine is it? It's a Ford 100E, uh, very highly tuned, built by Murray of Slough for the previous owner. And he's done just about everything you could to it to get more power out of it except going overhead inlet valve. So uh, it does go quite well actually. So how does it handle? It handles beautifully. Um, had a bit of trouble when I first got it, getting it set up right, but now it's set up right, it corners very well. It corners pretty much as well as most modern cars will, uh, but you ain't got the power that a modern car would have because it's a 1950s car. But for its, for its size, it goes very well because it's light. And it was certainly very fast in the 50s, but uh, nowadays they're super fast, aren't they, by comparison with 50s cars. So have you thought about anything like doing a sprint in it or anything like that? Uh, I've decided I'm a little bit old for that, but... I, You're never too old. Yeah, what I did, what I did do though was uh, everything I've done to it, to make it a road car, I've made sure it's all easily dismantleable to take it back to being the race car that it was in 61. So things like the windscreen that you see on it and the scuttle, you can take those off and there's two fiberglass scuttles and there's a lightweight one with a racing screen on it so you get back to its racing heritage. It looks, it looks fantastic. I mean, the dash is lovely. Yeah. 
It has a hood as well that goes with it, which you can interchange with what's on there now. So you no plan to sell it? No, none at all. <laughs> but uh, the, I don't think I would. The previous owner, being the son of the original builder, I do have an agreement with him that if I die, he gets first shouts up from my, in my will for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which seemed only fair. Well, it's well, thanks very much, Joe, for the interview. It's brilliant. You're very well. And it's a lovely job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.